Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from the home of the Bills since 1973, there's a look at New Era Field just outside of Buffalo, New York. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Hello, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, you take a look at the Bills entering play here. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season and a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they, too, were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Two weeks have come and gone. It's off to week three, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. Commanding the offense will be the seventh overall pick of the 2018 draft. It's Josh Allen. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, oh but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. The run on first down gets him a couple up to the 27. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Now let's take a look here at the Bills' offense. In the NFL, we love to talk about bloodlines and how important they can be. And for Zay Jones, he's got a terrific one. His dad, Robert, longtime linebacker in the NFL, big time with the Dallas Cowboys. And his uncle, Jeff Blake, a starting quarterback in the NFL at one point. What if he played catch with Uncle Jeff in the backyard a few times growing up? It's a gain of 13 and a Buffalo first down. I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts, and one of the debate points with him was, while at Bama, how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. And quickly, let's check out the New England defense. Harrison Smith is a player I love to watch. Whether he's ranging deep as a free safety or near the line of scrimmage where he makes more plays, keep your eyes on him. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A give to Smith out of the gun. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. 47 game on the play. Push him back. Push him back. Throwing his Allen on third. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. That's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And he did everything possible to rally his team to a win last week, didn't he? What did he throw for? What? Over 450 yards. I mean, that's a pretty phenomenal performance. So obviously, he and the offense were clicking pretty well. Yep. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. So they will set up shop. Excellent field position in the red zone at the 19-yard line. 
Well, he's going to have to shake out the cobwebs first time he touches the football and he drops it on the ground. So many times we talk about quarterbacks and taking care of them early to get them in the flow with safe throws, right? But with a runner, there is no such thing as a safe run, right? <laughs> right out of the gate, you're going to be admit, you're going to be in some traffic. Got to take care of the ball, and he didn't do that. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Prescott from the gun. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Now let's give you a look here at the New England offense. I love the versatility of Marcus Cannon. He can play guard. He can play tackle. I think his footwork has really improved during his time in the NFL. He has one of the better backstories that you're going to get. This is a guy who was diagnosed with cancer, has beaten that, and now is one of the better players in the NFL. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Now Prescott. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It's a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Prescott. That's out to his running back, Michelle. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And he'll get them inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down, Michelle. And despite the fancy footwork we saw, they'll get to him just inside the 15. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Prescott on third and two. And this is going to be incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. And his kick is indeed good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point's not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. 34 yards there at a first down. Boy, the offensive line there, that was a thing of beauty to watch them block. I love how you give a little appreciation for those big guys up front and well-deserved. 
but how about the execution behind them? You can see the hours of practice that have gone into it. Great pocket by the running back. Quarterback puts it right in the perfect spot. Great mesh point by them. The timing on point. The run even better. Allen finds his tight end, Kroon. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the counter, it's Smith, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. On play action, Allen. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Carl Nassib coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game, watching this offensive line, because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right, Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. On, he says out at the eight-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. There on the tackle, Shaq Lawson. To throw on second and six, Prescott. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. From the 29, Prescott, and his throw here is incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Brandon, their last miss on third down, they actually were able to alleviate it because they picked it up with a fourth down conversion. I don't know that they'd be wise to try and do that again here. To me, you got to punt the ball away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? It's a loss of 10 yards on the play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. So that's going to push him back half the distance. After the penalty, it's Smith. And strong running there gets this up over the 15-yard line. And that's a gain of six on the first down run. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. It, it'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. On third and long, it's Allen. And that is incomplete. And this passing game's whole offense really didn't show up in the loss last week, and it hasn't started all that great here either. Yeah, and they can't let that incompletion become an uh-oh moment. Like, oh boy, here we go again, just like last week. Each game is its own entity, treated as such. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Patriots take over. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. 
The pass there over the middle to start things out. The numbers for him from a week ago, five catches, 56 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. On second down now, Michelle, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, it's working pretty well from them. And here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. A gain of three, second down. Mike, Mike is 59. From the 44, Prescott. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Tyler Higby. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 34-yard line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Off the draw, here's Michelle. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. On second down and four, Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Allen maybe with a free play. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Defense. So offside's the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, trying to help out the head coach in his decision-making process. They run the counter. Smith, and he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Allen off the play fake. Open man is Higgins. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 24-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Allen from the gun on third down. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Defense. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Derrick Henry, his second touchdown on the season, and the Bills have taken the lead. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. 
add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Offense marching back onto the field, and our focus shifts here to Sony Michelle. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong, only in week three, and you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for the season or, or for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the University of Tennessee. And believe it or not, I was a quarterback for a day and a half. <laughs> and the first practice session, the first play we ran was 28 pitch, which is a toss sweep. And I remember the offense coordinator saying, that's our identity. That's our bread and butter. That's our offense. We got to get that down right here, right now. I think we're seeing some of that in this running game here. So did you not get that down, and that's why you were moved to the defense, or what? I, I don't know for that <laughs> reason, but I do know I saw a couple of guys throw, and immediately they were saying, you know, you need to learn how to backpedal. Hey, you turn into a heck of a DB, though, partner. <laughs> Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here are the Bills to take over. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. On the stop there defensively, Marcus May with the tackle. Staying on the ground. This time it's Smith. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. Allen fakes the give and keeps himself. And he'll get nothing out of that one. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. This thrown quickly out to Jones. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Allen going to throw. And that will be incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Let's go, fellas. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're gonna lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. On second down, Michelle, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And he's across the 43 extra yards to the 43. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. On second down now, Michelle. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. From just shy of midfield. Prescott going down the middle 
and it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing. Prescott. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. And his kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Allen now on first down. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw again. Allen. And he whips that one incomplete there. Now they face a third and 10 after back to back incompletions. Derrick Henry. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. We've got a little more than a minute to go, and I think the offense is saying, hey, all we need here, a field goal, and we can take the lead into intermission. Do well, I think that's what the goal should be. Give your kicker a chance to give you those three points. But in the meantime, if someone falls asleep on the defensive side, he might take advantage of that and get a big shot downfield, too. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott got a man open. That's Harry. And they finally get him down, but not before he reaches the 34. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. A second down throw for Prescott to Michelle on the dump off. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 22-yard line. On first and 10, Prescott. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. To throw again on second down, Prescott. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. 
Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, but it'll be second and goal. They'll throw again. Prescott. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 49 yard line. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's Sanders. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott, quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. A first down throw for Prescott. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And that was a nice, strong run by the guy they call the field general. First down, Prescott. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Play fake. Here's Prescott. Nice rhythm. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That's a cornerback in for the sack, Tredavious White. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. 
And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. A lot of tough route. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by Micah Hyde, and he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So here's the Bills offense. Now they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that... Looks like an extra step was involved. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Allen now throwing on third and long. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Open man is Higby, the tight end. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though. Huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Got a man. It's Arthega Whiteside. And he is down deep into Buffalo territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 67 yards. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. On the counter now, it's Sanders. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the five to the four. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down and four, Prescott in trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Ed Oliver picks up his second sack of the afternoon. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Prescott from the gun. And that is incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. All nine points for him coming via the field goal, and this last one puts him out in front. All the field goals are great, but you know I'm going to get pessimistic here, right? Because... You've got to score touchdowns to win games in the NFL. I just wonder if all these field goals, great now, or if they'll come back and haunt them later on. Ain't no such thing as a 
Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They begin with Henry. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On play action, Allen, he's going to rifle one. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. It's caught by Sanders. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he's out right at the 25. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. On play action, Allen. And his throw's going to be incomplete. With the passing game right now for them, not overly impressive. Last week he hit on right at 50%. This week he's under 50%. And it's not just on him. Protection, a few breakdowns along the way. That's made him get off the spot. Receivers not getting their way open downfield. The coverage has been awfully tight. They've got to all get together and find ways to make this passing game get in gear. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two. On second and 12, Allen. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. 
It's a second down run with Sanders. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Back now in Buffalo. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And a completion to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Let's go! Let's go It'll go let's as go. an impressive 31-yard gain. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them a lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that go. flag in go. the back pocket. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. Throwing, Prescott, and that is incomplete. Got to give credit to both defenses because they've been able to keep the points down. And despite that incompletion, I like the way he's playing. He's putting up decent numbers. What he has to do, find a way to make that sound read and hit that one home no, run no. before this one's over. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Boy, tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same, 
who can control them best could ultimately win it. Prescott looks to throw on first. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Prescott, oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run it, Sanders. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. Marcus Cannon, the guilty party there. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Prescott now. That's complete to his tight end, Higby. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. New England on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This time it's third and three. Here's Prescott. Got his man, that's Harry. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Prescott going to come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. They'll run here with Mason. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So that one will be accepted. Mike, Mike, check, check, 59, 59. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he's going to push his way down to about the 12. It's a gain of seven on the ground. Second down coming up. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they'd been down there. They'd been in enemy territory, as you said. They just hadn't been able to punch it in until that point. Now the try here for the extra point. And that makes it a nine-point game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? <laughs> so you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, if somebody got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Throwing again here on second down, this time complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. Here's Allen on first and 10. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get scored. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Patriots. 30, 10, 5, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments, sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that, and that's what they've done all game long. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as he'll go for two. 
Prescott now after the fumble recovery. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they had the big play on the fumble return. They were looking for the one-two punch, but they couldn't get that two-point conversion. And I have to wonder, were they scheduled to go ahead and kick the extra point? But after a play like that, you talk about the one-two punch, right? It's a momentum play. Go for two and really try to capitalize, and that's what they attempted. On first down, Allen. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. There defensively to make the play, Joan Williams. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Allen. And he fires one incomplete. The Bills on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This is third and 10. To the air, Allen. This is White on the screen. And he's going to come up a bit short. He needed to get to the 35 for the first, but he only makes it to the 34. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. They'll run for it with Henry. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Derrick Henry denied here on fourth down. And the Patriots take over. They're going to have terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. On first down. It's Sanders, and he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. Now Mason, and he'll take this one down near the 15. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. They'll try and run for it with Sanders, and this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Come on, Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A nice run on first down. Gets him six yards to the 31. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. On the draw, this is Smith. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second and nine, Allen, and this will be incomplete. Joan Williams, the rookie Vandy product, there to bat it away. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots' D on third down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And he can't come up with a pick. Nearly his second of the game, instead fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll run for it with Smith. 
And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Okay, you and I are sitting up here getting ready to analyze whether they should go for it or not. Did Today's final score, Patriots 25, Bills 7. 